Uh, so here's our scenario that, that we're faced with. Uh, we have a slope of a 612, and we're building a little shed where our span is 8 foot 6, and we have projection of 6 inches. So first thing I, I want to take a look at is if our span is 8 foot 6, then if you remember back to our, our building triangle, we have this happening here. We have run is half of the span. So if our span is 8 foot 6, then our run is 4 foot 3 inches. Okay, so uh, now I take a look at my slope, it's 6 and 12. And the first thing uh, that I want to do is I, I'm going to pick up my square one more, one more step in this off. This is my the level side that I'm going to have. So I always use the alliteration LLL, long level left. So the level side is going to be represented on the long part of the square and it's going to be in my left hand. And I'm going to step off like this. Uh, so here's our rafter and this is our exterior wall, double top plate. Uh, this line right here, we refer to as the building line. It's the outside of framing. Uh, we'd have sheathing out there or, or uh, whatever, rigid foam board, whatever we've got out there. Uh, that's our ridge beam or ridge board right there at the top. That's the center line of the building. This dotted line right there is where the bottom of the ceiling joist would be if we had a ceiling joist in there to put across. Uh, this measurement from right here from building line to center of the building is the run. Uh, as we, we show up there, as we talked about, we, we did that in basic. Anyway, so from the outside to the center is the run. And we know that that measurement is four foot three inches in our scenario here. So I, when I grab my rafter uh, table or my square, right, rafter square, and my left hand, long level left, I'm going to be laying out like this. But I want to show you what, what we'll be doing. You will be standing on this side when you lay it out, and you'll be stepping off like this. So I, my six here is my rise, my 12 is my run and I'm gonna step it up one, two, three, four times to get to the building line right there. And this, this measurement from there to there is called the stand, and this part of the rafter is the bird's mouth, and we'll have to cut out the bird's mouth, leaving an appropriate stand, and then we'll add the projection at the end. This measurement of four foot three that is so critical for us is on the run, which creates a, on the slope, as a different measurement, so you can see there's like a right angle triangle that we have right there. Across here, right angle, up our total rise, and then the slope adds length to it, which is a hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, which is where we get the extra length, and our rafter's not four foot three long, but the length of the run is. Okay, I'm gonna give this a try here. I'm gonna lay out this rafter uh, so you can be up there looking over my shoulder, and hopefully this works out for me. So my first step to stepping out this rafter is I'm going to take a look at it, look down it, find out which way is the crown, and I'm going to put the crown towards me. Because remember I'm going to be laying this out from the top. Uh, this is the top of the rafter and down inside the building will be on that side. So this was a 612 that we're going to lay out. So I'm going to start as close as I can to the end so I don't waste any stock on my crown end facing me. I'm going to lay out a 6 on the on the on my right and a 12 on my long level left. My level left is where I'm stepping. Yeah, so I'm gonna go six, 12, put a full line here. That's gonna represent the center of the ridge. Then I wanna put a little tick here, and I'm gonna put the number one there. That tells me that this is one step from here. So center of the ridge, one step. So I have to step off four full times because my run is four feet and then I'll show you what to do with the other. So there's one time, six and twelve, two, six, twelve, that's three, six, twelve, so that's four. So since this was level all the way across, each one of these was one foot of run. So there's four feet of run I have to there. If I was to draw 
a triangle from here, went straight on the level to uh, an imaginary point there, and then plumb up, that line on the level here would be four feet. I just stepped it off, coming down six inches each time, because that's the slope of a roof. Now at this point, I have to go three more inches on the level from here. I can't measure it like this, because it's not on the slope. So I have to make sure it's on the level. So I'm gonna set my square to six, 12, and I would put a, a mark at three right there. But since I know, uh, well, I can't, I can't put it there, but there, they, I can do all kinds of things, in fact, actually. So that, that's an inch and a half right there, and I can slide it along, still maintaining my six and 12. And there's my, my other three inches. So this is my building line, or my other inch and a half to make three inches, I should say. This is my building line right there. So it's a plumb line there, which matches my plumb line at the ridge. So things that I have to do now, I have to cut a bird's mouth out of this. And so we're, we use a one thirds, two thirds rule here. Since the birds, the seat cut's gonna be down here of the bird's mouth, I wanna take off from here one third to leave two thirds in the stand, we call that. So what I'm gonna do is just find my one third, which is right there, and still on the six, and on the 12, now this is a seat cut, so it's a level cut. I'm going to be cutting that out right there. Now my projection, as we had on the board there, is another six inches. So it's all on the level. Projection's on the level, overhang's on the slope. So I set this to my six, my 12, mark at my six inches, and I need a plumb line right there. So I just slide this along. This is where your stair docks are quite nice or a, a wood fence you can make. There's my six and my 12. That's a plumb line right there. So now depending on what's happening here, if, my, if I know that's to the outside of my fascia, well, that's really easy to bring that in. I keep my square set at my six and my 12 and I bring it in like this. That's an inch and a half on the level. And I can mark that. And this part right there is where my fascia would go like that. Now we have to make an adjustment at the ridge. This, all of this stuff is everything's laid out to a theoretical center line. That's the very center of the ridge right there. So now I have to shorten it by half the thickness of the ridge. So I can just set my square on here to follow this along. And my stock is inch and a half. So half of inch and a half is three quarters. So I'll put my little mark right there. And still on my 612 slope. Put it right there. So that's my plumb cut. This right here is my ridge. So this will be cut out later. The ridge will come across square like that and down. So that's gone, cut out. And then down here, I'm going to cut out my bird's mouth and cut off up here for my fascia. Uh, at this point here, if I had, uh, if this was a two by eight and uh, my fascia was two by six or, or, or two by five even, uh, I may have to cut this off long or level. So if my fascia only came to this point right here, well, I'd need to cut it back on the, on the level, a reveal of my fascia board. So let's, let's draw the fascia board to be here. It would come across square like that. I want to have that little bit of reveal before my soffit comes across. So it's pretty easy to get that in there. I go 12, go 6, slide it along until I hit that spot and draw my line on the level. So now this is cut out as well as a soffit cut, fascia cut, a bird's mouth, plum cut, seat cut. And then my ridge cut. So since my drawing's not to scale, I'm just gonna approximate what we just did there. So we started at the top. I was standing up here, looking down. We went down from the center here. We went down six inches and over 12, and I, we put one there to mark one step. We went down another six inches and over 12 for step two. And then we did it again. Step three, and again for step four. 
So we still have to get to the building line here, which is another three inches. So still on the same slope, that same six, 12 ratio, we only went over three more inches right there to get us this line right here. Then we slid the square along and we drew that plumb line right there all the way through. So with that, we could then go with our projection. So again, set at the same 6, 12. We came over here, six inches, drew a plumb line. We ended up putting a soffit cut in in the end, right there. And uh, then we had to go to the top and shorten it by half the thickness of the ridge. In this case, it's a three quarters of an inch on the level, right? It's never on the slope because that distance there is much different than on the run 